Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to go very deep into the um, sulfuric acid production. So, as I said last episode, we are making indeed 600 refined fuel, refined oil, my bad. And uh, now I realized that we only actually need 540 because our Mark II belts can only carry in max capacity of 720. Wait, is that correct? No, it's probably... Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Yes, 720. Yeah, I, I was right, I was right. So, we have to find um, a stone vein, and there is one here, but it's kind of... Um, hmm. It's probably a little bit busy. So, let's see, is there any other one? There's one there. There's, this is all crude oil, crude oil. There's one stone vein over there. Um, this one is closer. This one is probably closer. I actually don't know. So, let's just take this one, because there is something built here. And but it's okay, I guess. And this is I'm still using 150 megawatts of power because of science. So I actually wanna move science to a different place altogether and uh, have it like that. Now let's see how can I make this work. So I need around 720 stone. Okay, can I fit? Uh, this is gonna be rough. Um, let's see, maybe like this, I guess. Mm. Still four, come on. Can I get... There is five there. Oh, there we go. Here it is. So this is 5, 5, and 5. That is going to be a 720 line. And I'm just gonna go something like... Oh, perfect. And I can I can actually I use my belts for it. That's amazing. Alright, and now we should just put some poles down and pretty much be done with it. And... Uh, water, I'm just gonna pull the water from the side over there so the issue here is uh, um, let's leave some space for this call please and just a little bit something like that and as i'm going to do those yep, yep, yep. And we are, of course, still researching stuff. So, how I want stuff is actually very simple. So, I want the. Uh, hmm. Let me, let me check this a little bit. So, it does take. Yeah, so I'm going to be using water. Yes. And that's six uh, per second, so that means one refined oil per second. And this one over here, uh, that's actually not per second, damn it. Um, I actually don't know how many of these I need. Hmm, this is actually a little bit uh, funny. But I do think that it doesn't really matter which way I put it. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter because I'm gonna use MK3 uh, sorters and that just is overkill regardless of what I use. And I'm gonna take the water from here and paste it in right there. 
and then take the sulfuric acid right there. So let's just go with this part. And from what I know, should be using a chemical facility. Um, chemical, there we go, chemical plant. And it should be probably around here. Let's see. And I want to make sulfuric acid, yes. There we go, and... Um... How many do I need? So what's, what's the... doesn't say anymore, huh? So let's drag in the water. I, I think I have enough. So it does consume... 8... 8... Um... Actually, one, one refined oil per second. So, 366 of these. And another 50% of that will be nine. So, I only need nine of these to actually make everything work. Well, that's actually quite cheap. But... So, wait, only nine? Wait a minute. How big is that? That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that one nine. Mm, that's. I mean, that's okay. It's gonna be a lot of space here left. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So let's begin by putting down some of these water pumps. And uh, do I have some foundations? I do not. Now it's it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. So one, two, three, four. I think I need eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. That should be around. So it's fifty water per. Right? It doesn't say. Wow! It doesn't say. That's that's bullshit. Anyways, it doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Okay, connecting all of them, and I want to do right around. Yep, we can put it exactly there, and that should turn it all on. And this should be producing, oh, it's 60 water. Yeah, that's actually really good. That's actually a lot more. Hey, that's 480. Well, it's okay. It's, all, it's fine. It start, I think it starts with a 50 fire, right? It goes to, I don't know, around... Can I actually... I, I can probably just use three lines here and just have it very compacted. Uh, I think I should just use this. It's fine. It's it should be fine. I mean, oh, uh, just just delete. Uh, well, whatever. To help the drones a little bit. Go so, and now just go all the way there. And I'm faster. My my drones managed to hold on, no, 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 no. There we go. So my my drones actually managed to build as fast as the belt. So that's that's an achievement itself. So there we go. And I'm going to use MK3 sorters. There we go. One, two, and three. We're not gonna store the oil or anything like that. That's that I am not doing. And there you go, the sulfuric acid is getting in. I mean, uh, it's been made, and then we want to um, output this somewhere. So, is it that way? I think it, I think we're gonna go to the right here and have this something like that. And just, I think I'll put it here is okay. And just have an output the belt. And uh, let's copy paste. 
is this right there and see where the pole goes and the pole goes right around you put a bunch of these before I run out of power. You can just stop the stuff there. It's gonna save a little bit of power. And yeah, that produces quite a large amount. Very, very fast. And I'm gonna store that into a container. Um, actually a bunch of containers so uh, how many did I say I need nine so three and then just go five six seven eight and there we go we have our entire factory built and we are done with it actually everywhere oh. pause the research here and I don't think I have a lot of research to do, actually nothing very important, just like some like some sorter stuff and stuff like that, nothing really out of the ordinary. And have some sulfur here, and I'm going to store the sulfur in a bin. So it's going to go something like this, and I'm going to go as high as possible, and just put it in. There we go. So that's gonna be all the sulfur, and that's probably gonna cry. I'm, I'm probably gonna run out of power here, but uh, we'll see if that's the thing. And I should be making around 360 sulfuric acid per minute, which is more than enough. Um, how do I put this oil in? So yeah, that's probably more than what we will ever need for the time being until we find sulfuric acid oceans and then we are in golden, golden uh, uh, epoca, I guess, I don't fucking know what's the word for that. Anyways, it doesn't really matter right now, but it does matter that we have successfully made 360 sulfuric acid per minute and now this is the reason why we made this to get this there we go this is the stuff that i wanted to make titanium alloy and uh, this one actually requires a, a medium sized quantity of titanium i mean a uh, steel and some uh, titanium. Yep, there we go. So let me see around. Where do we have a? There we go. A fourteen vein. And here's I'm gonna make all the steel that I need. So it's gonna be quite simple, really. I'm just gonna stay by this tower, so I can charge up my mecha. Let me put a bunch more, actually. And there we go, I'm just gonna stay here in the middle, and that should be maximum two. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and put... Uh, um, how much is that? So, so steel requires three plates to make one. So, that would be... So I need around... Uh, how much did I say I need? For the titanium alloy, I need half of what I'm making, so I need 180 times 3, that is free 540. So I need... what? No, 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 that doesn't make any sense. Wait, that does make sense. 180 times 3, that's 540. Iron plates. There we go, there we go. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit scary, not gonna lie, I was like, what? I need... <laughs> 540 what I'm gonna fit three times that I already multiplied it okay so let's see here do I have anything um, I do have this one 720 iron plates um, I can probably use this so this will be something like this um, actually let me just place 
this stuff down first. So five of those, five of those, five of those, five of those. There we go, and that should be a 720 line coming this way. I am probably not capable of um, having this amount of uh, throughput actually. Hmm. This is uh, this is a little bit annoying because I don't have the power. I am running low power. As you can see, I am almost kept there. And this is 720 iron plates per minute, and now I have to do um where is it? Where where is it? Where is it? The steel. Steel is one to three, so this is a one to one. So I can probably, if I'm correct, I can probably just paste in the 720 blueprint because it uses the same uh, uh, stuff. Right, I can pretty much paste it in like this, connect everything. Just like that, and then just say this is not, not what I want, and I want steel. Now everything will go in there, and now I can use the copy. Uh, copy, and then paste everything. And there we go, now I have 360 steel per minute, and that is a very, very fast transformation. Alright, and we already got the steel, and now I have to get okay, um, titanium plates. So, how do we get those? So, everything will be moved here. So, the problem is getting the, the steel in this general area. And I have to go above. Uh, yeah, above this stuff. So let's just go like this. Mm, I don't think it matters if it looks okay or not. Uh, okay, just go down like this. And then just go. Uh, do I have to go around? Oh my. I don't know if I can fit... Oh, we can fit stuff in there. There we go. So I can go up here and I can just pass right around this place and go just above that and then just lower it down around here. And that will be my steel and we are only missing the titanium. So the titanium will be... Um, I think this is a good spot, so this will be all titanium. There we go, and this will be three of these bad boys. I think this is the maximum that I have. The other um let me be sure of it, okay? Because I don't wanna make a mess again and have to literally grab everything from the floor. Okay, so I'm just gonna use four of them. Four stacks of this, and there we go, perfect. And now I'm definitely sure I have enough of this. So before we are doing that, I'm gonna do something. I'm just gonna make the factory itself. Um, so the way this is going to work is I'm going to pull in the titanium like that, and just use two of these. This is enough to suffice. To sufficiently provide on a 300 and um, a 720 belt, and then I have my sulfuric acid coming in like that, titanium like that. Just, you know, make them 15, and there we go. So that is what I need, and this is the smelting facility. So. In the smelting facility, what do I need the most? Uh, what is it? Titanium. So I need twice as much sulfuric acid. So every smelting thing will be... Actually, how many do I need? 
let me let, let's do some math here so I am going to need one actually two no one so it's four every 12 seconds that means I need one every three seconds is that right Yes, that is right. One every three seconds, and I need two sulfuric acid per uh, uh, three seconds. Um, and I have uh, three hundred and sixty sulfuric acid. Um, I'm 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 just pretty much one and a half sulfuric acid. Per, s per second? No, 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 no! God fucking damn it! <laughs> uh, three, one. Fuck! I actually don't. I can't. I can't make my my head around it. So I need more sulfuric acid. And uh, the way this is gonna go, we're gonna wrap this all around, and I'm gonna make it the edge right here of the smelting facilities, and I'm gonna paste everything in from the side. So we're gonna just wrap around. Actually, you know what? I think I should just do this. This is probably better. Honestly speaking, I should, I should do this. I should just do this. There we go. And just do it like that. This will definitely be a lot easier than anything. And then I can just plant the, the smelting facilities all around this area over here. So you just go like that and I can wrap them around and have them done. Many times I need it to be done. Okay, let me put down another two bolts here. So I can ch actually, no, not here. I want them to be here. So that will be like that. And here I will have one like this. And this will take in some input in uh, set up the, reci the recipe. And then take one to Yep, there we go, and then just paste it in, I mean, literally let it go in that general direction, this output. Okay, so that is that. So, let, let me, let, I actually want to figure this shit out, okay? So it consumes, okay, one smelting facility, consumes two sulfuric acid every three seconds. Three seconds, two sulfuric acid. Okay, so that means uh, two facilities consume every three seconds consumes four sulfuric acid per second. Or sulfuric acid every three seconds. Three facilities consume six sulfuric acid every three seconds. Oh my god, I'm a genius! So it's two per second if they're free, and I need to do another three, so that will be nine. Is that correct? That sounds stupid. Two per second, that's... Yeah, to have... An... Yeah, that's nine. Yeah, I need nine. Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> so easy. That's actually so easy. <laughs> why, why would I have... <laughs> it was so easy. I should have gotten in the first place. Two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And there we go. That's the entire. <laughs> so easy. Lol. What do you mean? That was so easy. What? I got this in the first uh, first try. By the way. 
something like that and something like this and there we go that is all the uh, stuff that I need I mean I don't know it's, why it's this long but it's okay and I'm just gonna delete the excess belt should I delete the excess belt here probably yes something like that and just beat them like that and I can I can let that go like that just take this delete delete and what was the other thing this one that one and that was it because I don't have uh, some titanium okay and now let me see oh my god that's actually empty out um, there is more there. I'm probably gonna take one of these beams here because this will take a really long time until it gets filled, actually. And everything will work at full capacity, just the red and uh, blue signs that will not work. So, hoo -hoo -hoo, let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna take one full inventory of this. 6,000 of this and we are going to be using it on our... Where did I left my factory? Where did I left my factory at? Where did I drop it? There we are, it's over here. I forgot where I dropped my factory. <laughs> okay, and this will be right here. This should work, probably, <laughs> probably work. Okay, destroy the litter. See, add that. And there we go, we have titanium alloy and that is amazing. Let's see, what's the product? production it's five that's 20 per minute 20 times nine that's 180 then that's consuming 360 per minute yeah there we go I actually got the math right oh, I'm smart big brain big brain I actually don't need that many two of them should be sufficient so this one should be even so it shouldn't go up or down it should remain yeah, it's just remaining. It's like, it's like small little fluctuations because I actually have more sulfuric acid and I think I'm making more. Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. And uh, all right, with that out of the way, this does not have any power because I just took the energetic graphite this okay so this is a problem that we have been postponing for a while now and that is I need to somehow make more energy so because we are using infinite resources I am going to tap into this bad boy as hard as possible and I'm also considering uh, this entire line over here where I'm think this because that is 4.5 megajoules of power and that can probably be used at, uh, you know making power now before I do any of that let me check if I need anything other than that because titanium alloy I, I already figured it out this one this one over here requires graphene which requires some sulfuric acid and uh, an energetic core, which is okay actually. It's for every one sulfuric acid, I'm producing two graphene. That's also quite amazing. Um, and I could probably just copy paste this one, six hundred per minute. I could probably just copy paste this one and just use it to power as many. Uh, power plants as I have but first off 
I think I should be doing is pave the world with foundations. I am going to use all this space over here and I need some of those foundations. So where are they? There we go. I have the space. I do have the space. There we go. That's 50,000 foundations. That is more than enough, I, I hope. Okay, I hope that is more than enough. Okay, it's gonna be here, and this ocean is gonna be all right how it is. I'm just gonna keep that one over there, and I'm just gonna pave in everything else this way. So I'm gonna take the coal, and I'm gonna take the oil, something like this, and go from here on. Oh, there's some stone there as well, so we can do some stuff like this. So let's just keep on going forward while we are paving the world. There we go. This will probably lower the resolution. I mean, I mean the frame rate. But it's okay. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad that it is... to be an issue watching this. 31k, I'm already 20,000. Let's see here over there, let's keep that in mind. Just keep on painting all of this stuff. As I can. There we go, there we go. It is working nicely, actually. Like a lot of sand, okay. I think that's an achievement. And there we go, I have 12k left. So let's use that as well. Here and there. Finish up what we started. I have like two of those there. It's gonna pave in some of this here, put that there. Keep like a smidgen butter nearby. And just fill this up. And there we go, the ocean has vanished. have any more foundations, a little bit more foundations, and I am done. Here we go. And that is an achievement. There we go. So, where did I left my entire factory at? Um, right here. There we go. So, I want to copy this entire uh, monstrosity. I don't want to copy that. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I guess I can just copy this as well. So let's go in the blueprints, create a blueprint, zoom out a little bit, and then just copy paste this entire tragedy. And there we have it. And that is scoping up everything. Yup, 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 yup. So this is going to be 600 refined oil. And everything is to the minute. So I'm gonna save this print. Go and it's right here, and we are going to. What? How many? Zoom so in. Okay. And now I'm going to go a little bit here to the right, 
And I'm just gonna paste this in. So this is where it's at. So it's going to be pasted right around here. And there we go, the, the swarm has been engaged. And I'm just gonna delete this role here. So we need that one. And this has an input of crude oil through here, and it's going to have an input of uh, of uh, what do you call it? Of coal from the same spot. That should be quite good. So six hundred. This uh, refined oil is going to be, actually I'm going to use 720 and I'm going to copy this entire project again and save it as my default. Okay, so now that that is done, let me just this actually delete this entire and this will keep on going for quite a little bit here this will go that way yep this to be on the other side of the planet and now I'm just gonna take in let's see this so this one would be the first one Um, I should have like a belt here or something for the time being. Yeah. That's gonna be just so I can paste in this stuff. This would be something like this. That would be something like that. Um, no. On this one. There. Uh, yes, that is the correct one. And then I'm gonna need a belt here. So I'm going to paste this again. And then go with this one. And then this one. And there we go, that should be... 660 and now I should be using this one and this one and this is quite easy okay let's copy above that one so it pastes everything that was missing and then that and that should pretty much work wonderfully now I have to make sure this is all powered up, so we're gonna use some of these poles on every part of the belt. And that is everything in red, that's perfect. Actually, exactly what I wanted. That will end up there. This will also be deleted, because we are going to go from the other side. Until there. Yup, 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 yup. This only does take one input. And that is 100 and... Actually, it's gonna take a little bit more call now. Think about it. The 720 is a bigger number. And it actually, does it matter? It actually matters which one is the oil. So this has to be the oil. Meme, meme icon, that's gonna be the meme icon. And the meme icon for this one is gonna be the call. And there we go. That should be more than enough. 
or that problem. Now I do need some oil extraction to happen. So this is going to be the oil extraction and I do not have anything found. So this is going to probably pop out like that. This one like that. This one like that. And this will be the output and it's going to go down like this. Down like that. And probably in this. So this will be back here. And why is that the other way? It should be. Actually, it probably was the right way. I might have fucked up. Now, there we go. Now it, now it definitely is the right way. Delete that oil. Clear the litter. And this will be going in. And now I have to provide the call. So the call is going to be to determine how much call does it need for this particular project. So it needs one, one every four seconds. So if I make four of these, that's going to be one per second. And I, and I have 12 of these, so that's 3 per second, that is that is 180, yeah, so I only need 180 call per minute. Do I have to put, like, something on the memo? Wait, I can lower it, can, like, 1 per second? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. It's probably some memo stuff so this would be like three per second that's no that's actually as much as it goes 12, 12 per second and a lot more oil is gonna come in once I am done with that one so that is probably the oil that we had we need I don't know if that is 720 per minute is working yes it is that's 190 well oh, that's actually probably not that's 2.7 i need another oil yeah i need another oil well so i'm just gonna put you down here connect you with a power plug and take you in for a spin like so And that's going to be another 200. So that is around 800. 720. That's definitely more than 720. Yeah, that is definitely more. So that will pretty much be sufficient. And this, I should put a memo of this being free per minute. So but that is very simple. Can I put it in one go? Wait, how many can I fit? You don't jump. And 20. Can I f how many can I fit here? 9, 3, 20. That's probably overkill. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. Yes, go one. Up. Then, uh... Actually, keep it going on up and then just connect it right here. Okay, and that should be all of it. All of the call that I will ever need. And there we go. It is actually working perfectly. So now let's save this blueprint as 720. So I'm gonna copy it from there. I'm gonna go all the way the other side and just gonna call this 720 find oil and save the blueprint. There we go, there we go. And uh, I do not need this one, so delete that one and demote. There we go. So that is pretty much fixed. I do have the find oil problem solved. 
Now comes the funny part, and that is power. So, if I'm making 720 uh, refined oil per minute, which has a 4.5... Actually, I never thought about this, but can I use the proliferation shit? Hmm... Can I use the proliferation shit? If you use this fuel, it's more energy can be produced. Because I'm reading something there, okay? I'm reading something about proliferation. I don't know exactly what it is. But can I just use some basic proliferation shit? Make this work. Energy consumption. Production extra products because I don't know exactly how this is working. Can I use the green stuff? Actually, don't know. It says extra products are protection feed. All the raw materials of this certificate have been proliferated. A proliferator point, the effect of extra products just really can be obtained. So let me just try and use some small little proliferation stuff here. I'm just gonna make a small little factory that uses coal, right? I'm gonna use some of this yellow shit. Yes, yeah, some yellow shit. Alright, so that and I'm going to be where is that proliferator being? This is an assembler. Oh, this is quite fast actually. What the fuck? I'm probably gonna need like five of these. Not even. Let me just some of these. Down here. Can I wrap around? I cannot wrap around there, but I can wrap around here. So let's just put a bunch down. Actually, I'm not gonna put that many. I'm just gonna have this. Then I use an MKV sort of and have this output probably this way. A power pool and see the production per minute so that is 90 per minute 90 per minute so I can put four of these I guess four of these does job a fourth one and I just need to extend this a little bit That is completed. I have my proliferation. And I am going to use a bin here. If you probably to need a bunch more bins. I'm gonna use no you right there. That's probably overkill. One of those is probably overkill. That will definitely use an entire build of coal or this small little task that we have here. And there we go, we have a bunch of it. I'm actually gonna use only one. And then I wanna proliferate everything somehow. So I don't know how many products I need proliferate this with this does this use all of it? it probably uses all of it yeah definitely yeah it's gonna go 100 percent it just had it has a bunch more in there so it takes some while but 
yeah, there we go. That's that's probably done. I think. I hope. Maybe. So now I. Um. Actually, this is only three hundred and sixty per minute. Oh. Huh. So I need another five to make the other the other five. I'm just gonna unite it right there and copy this entire build. Something like that. Power it up. Have this one over there and then have a build going that way. Just paste above it. Just need one more. There we go, and I'll just need to power it all up. And that is all my proliferation stuff. And we're gonna unite that belt over there, and probably gonna need another input over here. And that is gonna to be all of that. So that would be 720 proliferation i don't know it's my first time using it so we're gonna see how this one works so i have to take all of this proliferator actually do i have coal on the other side no i do not so this one's going to go this model journey actually so let's just take this belt for example i'm just gonna have this in a bin so I can grab a bunch, grab a stack of it, I, you know, like that. I have 200 now, there we go. And I am going to try and put this one down. So this one I actually cannot make because I need a micro crystalline component. Oh, right. That's why I couldn't. Right, 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 right. The conveyor belt and inputting the proliferation into the sprayer from the upper port, the cargoes carried on the conveyor belt can be sprayed with a proliferator. Cargoes are used as raw materials for the next time. It can be obtained the effect of extra political production speed up. The spray with a break. speed up the production. Being sent in as raw materials and will be wiped out. Of after manual synthesis or construction. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, and now I'm gonna fix the. Uh, uh, actually, it's 50 minutes already for this episode, so I think this should be enough for this one. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one where I tackle the proliferation. I'm actually gonna go. And grab some uh, titanium stuff and I'm gonna grab some micro crystalline components so I can craft those stuff and I'll see you in the next episode where we're gonna tackle a bunch more uh, complicated stuff after we fix the uh, the entire uh, stuff that I'm missing here like the uh, construction stuff Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.